What's going on guys and welcome back. We've got another update on the upcoming Assassin's Creed codename Hex. The game that's set in the world of witchcraft during the 16th century Central Europe. Now this is no doubt one of a kind Assassin's Creed games that we have never seen before and something that Ubisoft is trying in order to create a concept that they've never really given a shot. Now this could turn out to be either very good or absolutely terrible. Now today we've got some latest updates on the protagonist that we're going to be playing as as far as what the game is all about about and what location the game is going to take place now of course some of the information that we have already covered in my previous videos but there are also some new updates that has come up regarding the protagonist we're going to be playing as we're going to cover all of the topics so that if you guys haven't watched the previous videos you guys would also get to know all of those informations covered in this video now starting off about the protagonist we're going to be playing as a female lead protagonist who's apparently going to have a strong feminine energy and this character's name is called Elsa now Elsa Elsa is going to be a witch who joins the Hidden Ones. And as far as all the official information that we've got from Mark Alexis Cotes, Alexis says that it's going to be a very different upcoming flagship for the entire Assassin's Creed title. Now, what do you mean by flagship? This basically means that the game is going to be very small, but at the same time, a very unique game that's going to lead the entire Assassin's Creed storyline astray. And there's going to be a new storyline that's going to be started on its own path. And that's probably what Assassin's Creed Hex is trying to do here. Now, Yara Tabara from Ubisoft Monetro also says that this game is actually going to be leaving an everlasting mark on the franchise. Now, what type of a game this is? It's basically a game that is set in Central Europe in the 16th century, where we're going to be focusing on the pivotal points in history revolving around the mass hysteria about witchcraft that gripped the entire continents, which according to history was one of those times where 80,000 people were executed for performing witch trials. And that is when this game is going to take place place. Now, some people might like this and some people might absolutely not love it when it comes to Assassin's Creed games, but it seems like the game will likely involve a lot of alchemy and science confused as magic, plus the fabled Philosopher's Stones, which may potentially be a technology of the first civilization, a prominent ancient faction in the gaming history. Now, from the descriptions that we have got so far, it seems like Elsa is going to be a white female character and a lot of rumors have also been stating that she's going to be some sort of a gothic female and if you don't know what gothic means let me just put out some of these example photos so you guys can probably know what type of a character that we're going to be getting in assassin's creed hexa now from the latest leaks and rumors it is also said that the game is going to be coming out in 2025 and this game is going to be the second game that's going to be part of assassin's creed infinity which will be launching after the first assassin's creed codename red the game set in feudal japan and both of these games are going to be huge complement releases for the first First two launching title inside of the upcoming Assassin's Creed Infinity Hub, which basically holds on to all the upcoming Assassin's Creed games as well as all the other Assassin's Creed games that has already been released. All of these games are going to be connected into this one hub. Well, you will play as this player created a modern day character who's going to be able to jump into all of the different memories of different assassins using the power of Animus. Now, you have the options where you can basically buy expansions and packs and DLC content and everything is basically going to be accessible by your modern day player created characters now i don't know if this is also going to be involving with some sort of an online gameplay as well because as we know ubisoft is creating an open world multiplayer assassin's creed game that is also currently in development and it's also going to be part of assassin's creed infinity so it's kind of going to be a massive hub where most likely we will have to create our own assassins so we can use these assassins as well as your modern day characters into your online progression where you will be able to play as these characters with your friends in the open world of Assassin's Creed multiplayer. Now, all of these information of course sounds very exciting. I'm really curious to see what's coming up in the future for Assassin's Creed. Now of course I will keep you guys updated right here on the channel. So I just wanted to quickly go ahead and give you guys the latest updates on all the things that we have got about Assassin's Creed Hex. Some of the informations that we've already covered in previous videos but there are some new informations that we've also received regarding the protagonist of Assassin's Creed Hex. Now I'm really curious to see how excited are you guys for this upcoming game. Let me know down below the comments. I would love to read your comments, reply to as many of you guys as I possibly can. And if you guys are looking for a YouTube channel that, that keeps you guys updated with all the latest gaming news, informations, leaks and updates and all the things that goes on in the gaming industry every single day without fail, then make sure to go ahead, subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free of cost. You don't have to pay 
a dime like what you do in Twitch or any other streaming platforms. The best part about YouTube is that subscription is free and you guys can always get updated with all of the latest contents for absolutely free. So I don't see why not go ahead, subscribe and keep yourself updated. It's a good thing for me in order to create a huge community of a lot of gamers together in this channel. And at the same time, you guys are getting all the information. So it's a win-win for both of us. So just take a few seconds of your valuable time. Drop a like on this video. It really means a lot to me if you guys show your support. It helps the channel and helps the videos a lot more than you guys think. And it also kind of keeps me motivated in order to make better content for you guys every single day. Because making these content, it kind of takes a lot of time, energy, and efforts into editing, researching topics, and all that stuff. So your support is absolutely appreciated. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. And I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Until then, take it easy, fams, and goodbye.